Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video I'm going to be swatching, trying on and giving you my first impression of the new Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette. So this is the Reckless Romance eyeshadow palette. This is the limited edition Valentine's palette. So this is what the packaging, the outer packaging looks like. This is a 20 pan palette and this costs £16 and as you would guess from the packaging which is the same on the outside of the actual palette this is a grungy cool toned very pink still obviously because it's Valentine's but a very very dark grungy palette I absolutely love the look of this so let me just do a quick count so we've got 12 matte shades, which leaves us with eight shimmers. I love that ratio because sometimes I think there's too many shimmers. Like you need a lot of mattes, I feel like, to really create the look. And then you're just going to use one, maybe two, to top the look. So I think that 12 and 8 is a really, really great amount. And I don't actually feel like this is leaning too pink like it's not just a straight up valentine's look i feel like you could go quite plummy you could go quite purpley obviously you've got all of those like grays and cool tones like down at the bottom you've also got a nude you've got more like mauvey sort of light purpley tones i really really like the breakdown of shades i think that this is a beautiful and very well thought out palette like it just makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to start by doing some swatches on my arm so that we can see what these shades actually look like on a very very fair skin tone. So first up on the top row we've got number one which is exactly the same colour as my skin tone. I mean I could have told you that just from looking at it in the pan. And then we've got Rebel which is a matte and that's almost like a berry rosy tone that's quite deep that's beautiful though that is like a wing I really like the look of that then we've got VIP which is the first shimmer in the palette and that's a sort of bronzy goldy shade but with a sort of, with sort of with a pinky undertone that's really really pretty too then next up we've got fling and this is a very cool toned, light, purpley, mauvey sort of shade that has swatched a little bit funny. I will say I've got very, very dry skin. So I am swatching twice. I am putting two layers down and also it may grab a little bit on my arm where I've got very, very dry skin. That's just little disclaimer swatches don't do too great on my skin then next up the last one on the top row is love song and this is a very cool toned brown looks a lot deeper in the pan than it does on the swatch there that almost looks like a mid-tone brown on the swatch but in the pan that definitely looks a lot darker then next up we've got soulmate and this is the first shade on the second row now in the pan that looks like it's a very similar tone to fling it's slightly different i feel like they are very very similar shades though so like i say let me go ahead and do a second coat on all of those yes i do feel like those two are very similar like even in real life they are looking really really close <laughs> like you could have just had one of those. They look very, very similar. So then this shimmer, I am very excited to see how this looks. This is called Girlfriend. That is so pretty. So in the pan, that just looks icy, like straight up icy, but that actually does have quite a bit of a pink undertone. That looks like a really wearable shimmer to me. Then we've got a fair, which looks so pigmented okay i'm not going to need two coats of that that swatch will go on for five to seven working days goodness me that is like a true deep burgundy 
that shade on all eye tones eye tones that was a strange way of saying it eye colors that will look beautiful like it'll bring out the richness of a brown but also it'll really make blue eyes pop green eyes pop that as like a liner I am very excited about that shade then next up is another shimmer and this one is called after party oh and that's quite purpley so we're starting to get into the purples a slightly deeper shimmer that's really really pretty I honestly cannot stop looking at that first shimmer that I just did then girlfriend so pretty so then the last shade on the second row is called front row that was a little bit of a tongue twister of a sentence and this one looks brighter I will just go ahead and do the second swatch now this one looks brighter and more pink than a fair like I feel like these two are different enough whereas these two are just looking exactly the same so that one there is called front row and again really really nice and pigmented then onto the third row we've got encore I was not that was another one I was not expecting that to look like that that is so smooth that's like a foil so it's like a silvery gunmetally sort of shade but I feel like where that is sort of blending out a little bit at the end of the swatch here that is coming off a little bit sort of pinky purpley that's another one that's really really beautiful then we've got tattoo so we're starting to get away from like the colors now and more into like the grungy gray tones and this is a matte and like I say just going to do two coats so that it really shows the color up nicely really really nice and pigmented that one so that is like a mid-tone gray really really useful then to finish off the third row we've got mini dress which is a straight up like bright bright silver that's really reflective really really pretty then we've got backstage which looks like a lighter gray tone more of something that I personally on my skin tone could use as a transition something to really smoke out another color a little bit lighter and more of a transition tone for my skin tone so like I say that one is backstage then we've got this one here which I'm very excited to see how this looks this one is called fishnets yes and this is like a black but it has pink micro glitters in it so as it's catching the light and reflecting that is like showing up pink but it is black that's really really pretty and then finally for the last row we've got paparazzi which in the pan looks like a chocolatey red toned brown very very deep yeah that's a pretty shade and again I feel like that still is quite different to these ones like it's a more of a red undertone whereas like I suppose this one's quite red but this one's more like a pinky that one does look slightly different I really like that and that's a matte shade then we've got Muse which is a bright pink that's a really nice pop of bright pink let me just put another layer on there yes look how much that's popping I feel like it's <laughs> at this angle it's hard to try and get it to catch the light I hope that it is then we've got last night which is a matte and this is another oh another gray tone yes and then in the pan this one looks like it's basically the same as these ones Mm, I suppose that one is quite similar I do appreciate that there is only so many shades of grey still very very useful to have in a grungy palette and then the last two in the palette we've got Rockstar which again is a shimmer but it almost feels like a foil like it's not chunky glittery where this one here girlfriend is glittery like you can see the bits of glitter in it these ones are just like 
reflective like they're not glittery or chunky they're really really nice and smooth and that one being more purpley makes it different from everything else and then as every grungy palette does need we've got a matte black and this one is called leather and I am not going to do two swatches of that because that colour will go on forever I feel my finger is probably stained now so that is all of the shades so let me go over every single one we've got number one which is basically the colour of my skin so you won't be able to see that one then we've got rebel vip fling love song soulmate girlfriend affair after party front row encore tattoo mini dress backstage fishnets paparazzi muse last night rockstar and leather so that is what all of the shades look like like i say i really hope you can see like the reflect on those obviously i can only hinge from my wrist i can't i can't make my arm go in any sort of way to try and catch the light but the ones that are catching my eye straight off the bat definitely girlfriend i definitely think i'm going to need that one and more of the like plummy tones obviously the grungy makeup and like the grungy cool tones are in that's not necessarily the sort of vibe that i've historically gone for absolutely open to change my mind but i'm really excited about these like pinkier shades i think that they are beautiful so let me zoom in and we can create some sort of grungy valentine's pink glittery eyeshadow look so i have already got my eyeshadow primer on of course i used the beauty bay one and i've already done my brows and i haven't done any of my base so that if there is any fallout i can wipe it away but also i think i want to do something sort of quite sharp so i want to be able to like clean up the outer corner so i'm just going to go straight on in with a small fluffy brush into rebel this one here and i'm going to dip into that and just start tapping this sort of in the shape that i want this outer corner to look just so that i can map out where i want sort of all of these colors to end and then we can work backwards from there <laughs> so i have also just run that shade sort of very roughly through the crease again just to start building up that color then i'm going to go in with more of a flat brush more of a dense brush and i'm going to go into like do i want a fair this one or front row this one do i want to go more red or more purple i think more purple i think i, I put this dress on to try and like match the vibe of the palette I don't know I don't know if I have or not but I'm going to take this brush into front row and I'm going to start packing that onto the outer corner and then I'm going back in with that first smaller fluffy brush and I'm just going to make sure that all of those edges are nicely blended out I don't want this to go too dark and too smoky. I feel like she says I don't want it to go too dark and too smoky with actual dark purple on her eyeballs, but I'm going to blend. I feel like a lot of the sort of promotional pictures and things that I've seen on the Beauty Bay website have all been quite dark and like they've all used a lot of the grey tones. So I'm wanting to do more of the colours so I feel like that's me giving you something a little bit different <laughs> if that makes any sort of sense so I'm really happy with those two shades I am just going to take a big fluffy brush and dip into that number one shade that one that I said is basically the same colour as my skin tone I will say like you can see that it's pigmented like you can see that it's being picked up on the brush so I do feel like it will show up on 
deeper skin tones as an actual bright matte pop of like a highlight or something like that if that's the sort of thing that you are into i have recently discovered a bright inner corner matte highlight and i think that it looks beautiful there's something really classy about it and i really really like that look so i think that that shade would come in useful for a lot of skin tones obviously for me it is just like blending out like the edges of other shades but i feel like you know on different skin tones it will actually show up as a bright pop uh, not white i was about to say a bright pop of white but it wouldn't be white because it's like a creamy like beigey sort of shade it's my skin tone a creamy sort of beige <laughs> so that's all of that really nice and blended i think that i am fairly happy with that i am just going to deepen up the crease a little bit more yeah a little something like that i absolutely love these pinky purpley shades i just think they're so beautiful on blue eyes obviously but i think that they would suit all eye colors now i'm trying to decide what shimmer i want to use obviously i want girlfriend but i'm wondering if i want a little bit of after party as well maybe on like the outer half a little bit of after party should we do that i'm gonna go ahead and do that so after party i'm just going to tap it on with my finger yeah that is absolutely beautiful as well so then just wiping that off and i will go in again with my finger into the shade girlfriend don't mind all of the black swatches all over my hand and i will tap that on the inner half so obviously this area is basically still tacky from that eye primer wow that is such a beautiful shade can you see that oh i love that shade so i'm just going sort of backwards and forwards between girlfriend and after party just sort of across the middle to like lay down a little bit more blend it out that looks beautiful so i am going to take a cotton pad and some micellar water and i am going to completely clean all of this up under here i will say i'm not noticing necessarily any fallout obviously there's like product here from where i was like patting it on with my finger but fallout not really noticing anything which is fantastic of course so i'm going to sharpen up that outer corner just neaten everything up a little bit so now that i have like cleaned up all of that outer corner i'm going to take a really really small very dense brush and i am going to dip into paparazzi on the bottom row that dark almost like chocolatey red brown shade and i'm going to really intensify the dark color on that outer corner obviously i've still got my cotton pad here so if i want to i can go in and clean it up again i just wanted that shape to like follow with this color so i've just got a little bit of that on the side of that brush and i'm just going to be very very precise with it right on the outer corner of the eye i'm not really wanting to do like a shadow wing today i probably will go in with a liquid liner because it's me but i just wanted a little bit more depth right at that outer corner i really really like this color story it's so versatile like i haven't touched any of the gray tones and i just absolutely love the way that this looks <laughs> so one last little blend with that first brush no more products and i am honestly absolutely thrilled with how that eyeshadow is looking so far so i'm gonna go off i'm gonna do a wing i'm gonna do mascara i'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we can come and decide what i want to do under the eyes maybe just the same or i might go into some of those cool tones 
come back in a minute and find out. <laughs> okay, so that's the rest of my face done. Just for reference, I used the Milani 410 Pleasure Lipstick with the e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in Pinky Swear. My bronzer is both Mitchell uh, Hollow there bronzer blush then the physician's formula butter bronzer what blush did i use oh the um technic stick this one the glowy blush stick from technic that is the shade pink diamond the concealer is the sleek in your tone concealer the foundation was the sleek in your tone foundation and the brows were the catrice brow pencil and the Beauty Bay Brow Fixer. The liquid liner was the Beauty Bay one and the mascara was the Beauty Bay one. So that is it all caught up on that and I just want a little bit of something smoky under the eyes and I think while we're here I think I really may as well go in with some of the grey tones, make it a little bit different and also like a little bit grungier. So I'm gonna take quite a dense brush such as this one almost like a liner brush and I will go into tattoo this one here I don't want black under the eyes but I'm going to go in with that one and I will stamp that along the lower lash line and I will join it up with that wing on the outer corner and then once I've got that colour on I'm going to go in with a slightly fluffier but still quite dense brush into it's going with rebel the first one that i used that more pinky tone just a tiny tiny little bit right on the end of that brush and i'm stamping it off on the back of my hand so that there's not too much pigment all at once and i will buff that black black gray shade out with rebel Okay, so what I don't recommend doing is stabbing yourself in the eye with the brush. Whilst you're blending it out, my eye has just watered and messed all of that up. I'm ignoring it, I hope you can as well. I will just put on a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. And then I think I just want a little bit, just a very, very small amount of that girlfriend shade right on the inner corner. And then I think I'll be done. So I'm just taking a really small sort of pencil brush and dipping into that girlfriend shade. So I've just got a little bit of that on there. I'm going to pack it right onto that inner corner. Yep, I love that. It almost feels creamy. That's how intense that glitter is. Like it almost feels like a cream, like my brush is pressing into it. So that is the finished look i absolutely love it so my final thoughts on the new beauty bay palette of course it's absolutely fantastic especially when you consider the price this is 16 pounds and i actually think that the beauty bay formula is worth so much more than that like they could charge double that and i would be like that is an absolutely fair price it's such an incredible formula. The shimmers are, I mean, there's different, there are different formulas within the shimmers. Some of them are more like toppers and some of them are more like a straight up like foil. So you've got that variety in the finishes where like this one is like a foil and this one is glittery and shimmery. You've got that difference in all of the shades. The mattes are so incredibly pigmented like just look at my arm this is going to stain i absolutely love it but i do have one problem and i have been talking to a few lovely people on instagram about this recently i really really wish that beauty bay would up their game when it comes to their limited edition palettes and their limited edition drops rather you could come out this is me talking directly to Beauty Bay. You could come out with liquid liners. You could come up with liquid eyeshadows, lipsticks, blushes. You could really stretch out that theme. Like imagine blushes, 
that are in this sort of packaging or liquid eyeliners liquid eyeshadows that are in this like duochromy black to pink purpley rich tones i think that that would be incredible and also lip products beauty bay have lip products you could come out with some different colors that are a limited edition to go along with the palette to like keep in with the theme do it as a bundle or you could do them all separately i just really feel like Brands like Colourpop, they come out with these limited edition drops and they really like encapsulate everything within that. They bring out blushes, they bring out eyeshadows and lipsticks and lip liners and they do a whole thing around the theme. And I do just feel like although Beauty Bay does eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes fantastically, I am absolutely not doubting that. I just feel like they could do so much more and I really hope that we get to see that at some point in the future. But let me know what you think. Would you like to see more products coming out with limited edition drops from Beauty Bay? I definitely would. I feel like they would do it so well. But that is my final thoughts. Do let me know if you have picked up this palette, what you think of it. I will try and remember to leave it linked down below. I am so bad at leaving the links, but this is me telling future me to just put the links in the description box. <laughs> It takes forever, but I will do it. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up if you have made it to the very, very end of this video. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you. I appreciate you spending so much of your evening with me, so much of your day in my company. I really appreciate it. I hope you've had a fantastic day. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.